Hello, Moon Habited. Welcome back to Spyro the Dragon. I am the Astral Alchemist. This is Let's See Plays. This is episode 26, by the way. And we're entering Dark Passage. At least I'm sure it's 26. Um, can't really check now, but, well, if I'm wrong, well, I can't really do much about that. Anyway, welcome to Dark Passage, everybody, where we have demon dogs which try to eat you. Ah, that one failed. And we also have clock falls, and we also have armoured tortoises. Okay, in the wiki it says turtles, but I am British, okay? I am going to say tortoise, whether you blue and well like it or not. Okay, these are also demon dogs. Now, uh, what the hell? Okay, apparently they glitch. Um, they And eat you. Go away! Okay, now let's find another clock fall. Here we go. Now, when the light is on, they are small, but when the light is off, they are big. Now, as you can guess, armoured tortoises are invincible once they're big, so you have to wait for the light to go off. No, on, rather. Or you could blame the, the lamp fall. I think I said clock fall before. Whoops to make the light last a bit longer, but he comes up later anyway. Hopefully you understood what I said there, because as you all should know, or anyone new who doesn't know this yet, but will know after I say it, I talk very fast. Get used to it. Welcome to my channel, everybody. Yay, ow. Uh, I'll explain to you why I just said ow in a moment. Hold on. I'm failing at rescuing him. I'm failing. Turn on to me. Oh my God. Sorry, Cassia. <laughs> the enemies here can be quite frightening. But you should watch the fools. I'd rather blame the fools. Now you're thinking. Abuse in video games, who would have thought? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, anyway, I've got some good news. I don't have carpal tunnel. Oh my god, I'm so happy about that. I was actually really freaking out thinking I had it, but it turns out I don't. Turns out, um... Now, some of you may not understand what I'm talking about. Uh, I mentioned it in my last video, and I think I mentioned it before. Uh, I used to suffer from RSI, and I had it quite badly, but it went away. Then it came back, and it just got steadily worse and worse and worse to the point where I couldn't even move my hand anymore. So that's when I panicked thinking it was carpal tunnel. Turned out that um, it was neither. It wasn't R I had RSI before, but it wasn't RSI again. What it was, as many years ago as a child, I fell over, landed on my hand at some point, and uh, crushed it to buggery. So, um, continuing with the story. So, um, all these years I had a scrunched up left wrist and I had no idea. And so, because my left wrist wasn't working properly, my right wrist had to start working a bit more and so that started aching as well. So, the chiropractor, okay, sorry for making cringe here, the chiropractor had to push all my bones and everything in my wrist back to where they're meant to be. Not gonna lie, it hurt, but it was blooming worth it. Hello, Azizi. Oh my god, I love that name. Thank you for releasing me. You did that on purpose, didn't you? I just complimented your name. You was like, hi, bye, and just go. Douche, okay. Can I do it? One, two, no, I can't. Can I bend them? No. Okay, for some reason, okay, let's just check it. I swear this controller is glitching on me because I pushed the circle button and he never flamed. Or maybe he was too close to me and I never had time to do it. I'm not going to have time to hit him. I'm watching you, Mr. Tortoise. Go and fall to your death. Bye bye. Ah, oh my god, I nearly missed it. Oh, I, I, I nearly bit that. Trying to trying to speak a sentence without stuttering caused me to get hit by the arrow anyway. G G. I would. Oh, I can clap. Okay, not very well, but I can clap just about. Okay, I've got to wait for this guy to become small again. Um, devolve. Come on. No digivolving today, please. Oh. Uh, you guys saw that, right? How did, how? I was standing behind him and somehow it ended, I don't understand. Um, well, GG. <laughs> uh, okay, this is the glitchy episode, apparently. I'm going to run away from you because I know what you're going to do, Mr. Evil Tortoise. Yep, yeah, you did exactly what I thought. This time I'm not going to get hit by you. Die. Oh, I've never said his name. That is a Cupid. Uh, kind of redundant, I know, but yeah, it's Cupid! What the? You did it again! Glitchy dog, just go! What? How are you eating me? Or oh, Spyro, technically. You can do. Uh, will I please stop getting hit? Be very nice. That'd be wonderful, actually. Be very, very, very wonderful if I'd stop getting hit and just rescue this dragon, okay? No failing. Boink! Woo! I did it first time! Bacardi! You know, I think you just might be the dragon to defeat Nasty Nork! That's me, alright. I forgot what Bakari in Japanese means. I'll write it on the screen if I can figure out what it is, but 
I was thinking like that's Hikari, so I used to know what Bakari means, but I forgot. Blooming neck. That's bad. Okay, let's glide down to um here. There's a reason why I'm gliding here, because well I need more life. Oh god. Not just because I need more life, but also the da da secret tunnel, which is actually really secret because you know it's required. But actually lots of secrets are required. Okay. Just you know up here is completely useless, it just brings you back around again, so you're back in the tunnel and over there towards the end and that. So you don't want to go that way. What you want to do is drop. That's gonna hurt his bottom doing that. Jeez, he like he falls like ten feet right onto his backside. Oh, by the way, the cupids you can manipulate them. Watch this. If it just works. <laughs> ah, yeah. You just shot an innocent puppy. You evil douchebag. You shall be executed for that. Exactly. A, a cat executing a dog is just wrong. Or anything. <laughs> Well, I say that just when I run into a wall. Perfect timing! Oh yeah, by the way, the arrows don't work on the tortoises and neither do I! There we go. But thankfully there's life here, so, uh, uh fodder, fodder, come back here. Fodder, bub, 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 bub. I'm gonna keep doing that till I stop. There we go. Okay, now you can eat that. Oh! Did I kill too many? Oh, I did. Whoops. I can't count, apparently! Yay! Well, another thing I fail at. Woo! And boom! For some reason, always right, I'm gonna fall from there. Okay, let's see if I can kill all you. Whoa, 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 he didn't bit me. No, 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 I've never actually been bitten by a dog, touch wood. I'd rather keep it that way. Although I've been teethed on by puppies. Now, I'm not sure this lab fall actually changes. I don't think he does. No, it doesn't look like he does. Okay, so I've got to run through, knock you down, turn round and kill the tort. Die! Thank you. You know, honestly, these things are armoured, right? Do you see how far that freaking tortoise flew when Sparrow hit it? My god, Sparrow, you've got a freaking powerful head. Oh, his lamp's on, he's standing up. Oh, okay, perhaps he's got to be stuck like that forever now. Alright, fair enough. Going up and burning the two puppies. Okay, I know I, I, know I said it's wrong for a cat to do it, but I never said anything about a dragon doing it, huh? Can I manipulate you? Damn it. Right, die, die, whoa, 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 that was pro dodging there. God, the Mr. Miyagi would be very proud of me. Alright, and uh, I think I said it before, but I'll say it again, the arrows don't work on the tortoises. Sorry. By the way, I have to mention this, um, I've met a lot of Brits who actually get kind of annoyed at them, no offence America or anyone else, but we get, get annoyed that you call tortoises turtles. They're like, they're not turtles, they're tortoises. <laughs> I think that I think tortoise is actually the real name, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure. But for us, tortoises is ones that stand on land, and turtles are the ones that are in the water. But you call them sea turtles. But we're just like, no, those are turtles. These are tortoises. Get it right. But how, what the hell? You bounced off of that. That's clearly liquid. You bounced off of it. See, clearly a tortoise. It can't actually. No, tortoises can. Can they swim? Not really. They just walk in the water. Let's rescue this guy. Another reptile. Ipara, I read that's bit a papa. That would have been funny. Thanks, Spyro. I'd love to help you catch Nasty, but I'd really hate being trapped in Crystal again. Don't worry. The only one who's going to be trapped is him. Another time when I can't tell whether I should clap or laugh. Anyway, <laughs> obviously, just so you know, guys, we are actually joking about that because you know people just pronounce things differently. Like I say, flash. Like, you say flashlight. I say torch. You say vacuum, I say hoover. I'm quoting um, Luigi's Mansion here. <laughs> but yeah, it's just how it is. There's no right or wrong answer, I don't think. Just like the Spanish pronounce things one way, the Italians pronounce it another way. They, you see what I mean? Nothing wrong with it at all. It just really bugs me when you get people that go on about how they're pronouncing it wrong. I'm like, they're not. They're just pronouncing it the way their country pronounces it. You know, everyone in their country pronounces it like that. Anyway, oh, bossy. Thank you for releasing me. Oh, you're very much welcome! Well, what a very polite dragon, you know, he's been trapped in crystal and all that and he actually... You know, it's nice when a dragon actually thanks you. Instead of just, you know, coming out going, Hello! Goodbye! They, you know they should have had a dragon that did that! That would have been funny. Wee! I don't know why I weed there. That sounded kind of wrong. That sounds bad out of context! <laughs> oh my god, I knew that would happen. Whoa! Well, I just freaking, um... I was going to say kamikaze over his head, but I'm not sure that technically is a thing. Can you kamikaze over something? You know, kamikaze means going downwards. 
Um, next time I go ahead and hit the triangle button, he drops down. I'm gonna call it the Kamikaze Bottom Drop. Yeah, that is now his move. Wow, I'm. I do not, uh, the 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 this flame. I'm trying to say burn and flame at the same time. And it came out as blame. Wow. And that rocket technically hit him, but um, you know, game logic. It's not an actual enemy, so it took no damage. Okay, let's see if I've done it. Uh, da -da, ba -da, ba -da. Ba -da, ba -da. Why did my controller stop working? That was close. Okay, 500 out of 500. Uh, 5 out of 5. Ooh, lots of 5s in this place. Yay! And uh, which way do I go to get out of here? It's uh, this way. Okay then, don't die! Oh my god, that looked really close to me. Anyway guys, wow, this has been a very um, interesting episode. We need to talk about tortoises and turtles. Tortoises! Anyway, thank you for watching and for existing. In the next episode, let's see, um... Yeah, we're, I'm sure, let me think, hold on, but, but, but yeah, we're going to Lofty Castle next episode, which is actually my second favourite um, level. Why? Uh, I'm not going to give too much spoilers, but fairies. Um, I was a little girl when I first played this, okay, guys? You can understand little girl fairies. Okay, bye, guys! I don't have carpal tunnel! What?